So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Dalisco Learnings and in this video we'll see how to connect a JSP page with database with the help of JDBC of course. So let's say you want to create a web application where you have some pages and those pages need to fetch the data from the database. So what you will do? So we have multiple ways right, what you can do is you can create a web project, again you can create a normal web project like this one or you can create a Maven project. So when you create a Maven project, the advantage what you get is, you know, you can add the dependencies. I mean, you can add the JAR files by itself, right? So th that is one way. The another way is you can create a web project. Then you have to add the JAR files by yourself. Let's do it by web project. Uh, if you know Maven, you can go with, go with that as well. Okay. So let's give a project name as demo JSP. And we will select our Tomcat server. Again, you can use any server which you have, Glassfish or any of this. Everything will work. Let's click on next. Nothing to specify here. Just click on finish. You can see we got our project here. And in this project, first of all, let me create a JSP page. So we'll set a new JSP. And we'll name this JSP as, let's say, uh, profile.jsp. So it, we, we just want to print the profile of a student. I will click on finish. And you can see we got our JSP page here. Just to show you something, what I want here is to print the roll number 101. I want to print a name and then I want to print the marks, let's say 88. I want to print these details. And of course, when you want to print this, you have to use a BR tag in between, right? And we'll say BR tag. Let's run this. Let's see if it is working or not so that we can go ahead. Let's click on the run button, click on next and finish. And run the server. I hope it will not show any weird stuff on my screen. Okay, so you can see we got the data which is 101, Naveen and 88. So this is what the page we are getting, right? But I want to fetch this data from the database. Now, do we have a database here? So yes, I'm using a Postgres database. You can use any database which you want. You can work with Oracle, you can work with MySQL, you can work with uh, any anyone. In fact, uh, so, I mean, later I'm trying to explore more on Postgres, so I'm using Postgres here, but that's fine. You can use any DBMS which you want. So, I, I, I already have a table here which is student, and in this student table, I have some data. If I say view all sources, you can see we have this data here. So, I want to fetch the last row, so which is row number 103, uh, marks 50, and name is Naveen. So, I want to fetch this one. How can you do that? How can you fetch the data from the database? It's very simple. You can simply, you have to use the... JDBC steps. Now I'm assuming that you know JDBC steps. If you don't know, you can watch my video completely dedicated for, for JDBC, okay, where you have to use seven steps. Still, I will try to uh, go with the steps. The first step of JDBC is, let me open my subline where I will, where I will say, specify the steps. So the first step we have to do is import the package or we'll say import package and the package we need to import here is java.sql.star which, which, which has all the classes and interfaces which we need. So uh, let's import that package. So normally when you want to import something in JSP what we do is we use this tag which is at the rate and then we specify, or not at the rate but percentage at the rate, right and then we say page then we say import that's the attribute and then you have to mention the package name which is java.sql.star. I want all the classes and interfaces. Once we have done with that, the next step is you have to load and register the driver. So you have to load and register the driver. Now when you say you want to register the driver, which driver I'm talking about? So since see, we have uh, different DBMS, right? And every DBMS has its own driver. So when you say MySQL, it has its own driver, Postgres has its own driver. In fact, Oracle has its own driver. So if I go here, for Postgres, the driver name which we use is this one, which is org.postgresql.driver. In case if you are using MySQL, you just have to specify your driver as this, com.mysql.dbc.driver. Okay, now since we are using Postgres here, I will use a Postgres driver. Now since I want to add a Java code inside my JDBC, uh, inside my JSP, you have to use, we have to use a scriptlet tag in which you have to specify the first one, which is class, which is class dot for name 
In this, you have to mention the driver name, which is org dot postgres sql dot driver. Okay. Again, if you are using MySQL, then you have to use com dot mysql dot derivative dot driver, which we have mentioned here. You see that? Oh, not here. This one is for, is for MySQL. This is for Postgres. I just hope I have entered the right text. Yes. The next step is. Oh, hold on. We are missing something. When you say you want this driver, this will be. So your, your machine will try to get this driver, right? But unfortunately, this is a third party library. And in your machine, you don't have that. Can you see that in your web content, you don't have that library. You have to make sure that you have your library in this, in this folder. So let me just do that. Let me just uh, add that here. So again, from where to get it, you just go to Google and search for Maven repository. That's my, you know, this is the place I get all my repositories. So just search for Postgres, Postgres, I mean Postgres, SQL, Postgres. Click on search button, then go to this thing and you can select any version. I'm going for the first version. I don't know it will, if it will work, with, work or not, but let's try. Uh, so you click on the download thing here, click on download, it will, it will download the thing for you. Okay, so let me just add that in my folder. Just, you have to just try to paste it here. Okay, so I have pasted that here. Can you see that we got our Postgres driver here and it should work now. Let's try. Uh, then, so we have added that jar file. The next step you have to do is you have to uh, go for, you have to create a connection. So we'll say connection con equal to, for connection we got the package connection con equal to driver manager. That's the next step, right? So driver manager dot get connection. Now in this get connection, you have to specify three parameters. The first parameter is the URL. So let's create a string URL here. We'll say string, string URL. And in this double quotes, you have to mention the URL. That's your database URL. Again, which URL to go for? So if you're using Postgres, this is the URL. So it is your, so what you're saying here is you're connecting with JDBC. So your JSP code is connecting with JDBC. JDBC is connected with the Postgres and Postgres is connected to this database. Now database can be on the network, so you have to specify the network address and the database name. For Postgres, the driver name and the, uh, the port number is 5432. For MySQL, the driver name and the, the port number is 3306. And then this is, this, this is one change you have to do. In MySQL, you have to mention MySQL. Okay, so let me just copy this and we'll paste it there. Paste. Now, once we got this, the, the next thing you have to mention is the username. So we'll say string username, we'll say equal to for, my, for Postgres, for my machine, I'm using username as Postgres. If you're using MySQL, you will get the default username as root. So I will paste, oh, not this one, I have to say Postgres. Okay, and then you have to mention the password. Now, luckily, I don't have a password in my, uh, I do have a password. Yeah, I do have a password. So the password for me is zero. Okay, uh, again, uh, depend upon what password you set for your DBMS. I have set it the password, which is, which is zero. So let me just type those things here. We'll say URL, comma, username, comma, password. You have to mention these three things. Now, once you've got the connection, let's fire the query, right? Now, to fire the query, we need a statement object. So we'll say statement st equal to con dot create statement. That's the step you have to follow, right? Create statement. Then once we got the statement, the next thing which we need here is we have to uh, fire the query. So for that, we need a query here. So we'll say string SQL equal to, that's your query, right? SQL equal to. Now, the, now what we want to fetch is the complete data. We'll say select star from student where roll number is equal to 103. We are, we are very specific now. We want only one record. Now, once we have done that, let's fire the query. The data will be going into result set. We'll say result set RS equal to it is st dot execute query, where you have to mention the query, which is SQL. Now, once you fire the query here, you will get all your data in result set. What we have to do is we just have to say rs.next so that we will, we will traverse between the records. Again, to get, I mean, to get more details about this, how all these things works, you can, you can watch my video on JDBC if you don't know JDBC. My main agenda here is not to teach you JDBC. My main agenda is how to connect JSP and JDBC.
okay it's not that difficult it's just that some people were having some issues so I'm making this video okay so let's print the then let's print all the values so what we'll do is we'll say rs dot in fact once we got the data in rs what we can do is we can go here and then we can say roll number we can print the roll number here we can use an expression tag here we can say percentage equal to rs dot get string and that will be your first string okay then we can use a br tag here <coughs> just to you know get the break tag then we can say name colon uh, we have to use a percentage at the rate equal to we'll say rs dot get string again uh, i know that roll number i mean the, the the roll number will be an integer but we can fetch that in a string format okay why it's not working uh, okay i forgot i mentioned uh, okay rs dot get string what's that get string i can say two right uh, we can take this in one line and then we can mention a br tag and then one more which is your marks we'll say marks colon let's copy paste this the entire stuff copy and paste and in here you can mention three right we can we got roll number we got name and we got marks i think we are done let's run this so this this is the data which we are printing here and after this let's say if i want to have some break tag so that everything will be coming after two lines let's run this let's see if it is working or not it should work i guess and you can see we got the data from the database it's that simple right so you have to write all your jdbc steps inside a jsa page so that's it from this video we have talked about how do you connect a database using JSP. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.